you have any idea what kind of shark you might be? Uh, it's a gopher shark. All oh, right. Yeah, you can see. Oh, there he is. Yeah. I'm Alan Turchik and I'm a mechanical engineer with National Geographic's Remote Imaging Group. My role on this trip is to utilize what are called the deep ocean drop cams. It's basically a camera inside a sphere that sinks down to the bottom of the ocean and films there so we can see what kind of creatures live. A really special part of this Chagos expedition is all the collaboration that's going on between the scientists. We have a bunch of different groups of scientists that are collecting all types of different data. One group is collecting information about how organisms are traveling up and down in the water column. And my data, which composes of what's on the bottom, can hopefully be linked with that and we can complete an entire system that extends from the bottom all the way up to the surface. The ocean's a really fascinating place. There's just so much going on everywhere, all the way from the depths up to the surface. There's always exciting things happening in the ocean. The deep ocean actually hasn't been explored at all here. So my cameras are able to give us a view of the life that exists down here, which is something that no one's ever seen before. So this is really exciting for me because it's a, it's a whole new frontier. Currently, I'm getting the, uh, getting the camera ready here. I'm actually putting the bait on the camera. We, we use the bait with the camera to attract fish so they'll come into frame. Another thing we have to get ready is the lights on the, on the camera. So you can see there's LED lights that are actually inside the pressure housing, and they're gonna shine out and reflect off these reflectors and illuminate the scene. This is actually the, the release mechanism. So like I was saying before, we take, a, we take an anchor, like this guy, Ugh, it's pretty heavy. It's about uh, 40 pounds. And we'll attach it to the shackle on the bottom. And right here, this is called a burn wire. And it's pretty cool. What we do is we put current through the burn wire and in the ocean, it'll just corrode and release the weight. Yep, let that one go. Okay, here it goes. One of the most important things is to actually recover the drop cam. We start by looking for the radio signal. So I use that um, radio receiver and I kind of sweep the horizon and I, I'm listening for the signal. And once I hear it, I'll hear this beep, beep, beep. And then I can figure out exactly what direction it is. And I can tell the captain, hey, look, let's go over here. And uh, we'll, we'll drive over there. And then we have to sit there with binoculars and scan for this orange flag. Uh, Cause it's just a tiny orange flag in this huge expanse of blue ocean. Ah, you can hear it. It's uh, it's out there. We just recovered both cameras, which is great. Successful day. So now the next step is. Uh, I have to charge the batteries and download the footage and I'll, I'll take a look and see. Hopefully there'll be something really cool. That's a beautiful shot, that one. That's really nice. It was all below a thousand meters, actually. I think that's a, I think that's a landing shark. These all yes. attracted to the bait, yeah? I think so, yeah. All right. Bait or the light, maybe. Everything that we find here is a new discovery. So this is really exciting for me because it's a, it's a whole new frontier. You really don't know what you're gonna get. You know, sometimes I make predictions, but you really don't know until um, you've uh, put a camera down there exactly what you're gonna see. 